Hello, well, that film clip will give you some about us. Join James Bond clubs, Dracula societies, Star Trek clubs, Star War clubs. And this eight-page blockbuster letter was sent in by an ardent Star Wars fan, Lorraine Leah Pierce. Princess Leah, if you remember, was the heroine of the Star Wars saga and Lorraine's heroine as well. And if I may say so, mine, and you make a beautiful Princess Leah. But don't you get a bit of a wigging, a bit of a ragging from the other girls dressing up as Princess Leah? Quite a bit, but I don't check any noise. And quite rightly, too. Let them go and pedal their bike somewhere else. You made the costume yourself, didn't you? Yeah, it's all homemade by myself. You, how did you make the boots? Um, just Wellingtons with vinyl shapes on. Well, tremendous. And this is, is, this is what? A comlink, I think. A comlink, a communicator yet. And you also made these beautiful models here. Because you're really yeah. mad about Star Wars, yeah. aren't you? And the Empire Strikes Back? Yeah. Because that model that you made is actually from the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, the, they both are. That's what, Princess Leia, and we have two of the rebels. What, is the, what actually is it? Um, it's the Hoth Rebel base. The Hoth Rebel base. And this one here? Um, Yoda's Dagobah house. Oh, yeah, and that's Yoda. Oh, what a lovely character. Why is Luke Skywalker standing on his head? Um, he's training to be a Jedi Knight, so he needs to learn to use the Force. Oh, I see. He's using the Force by sitting upside down, and there, standing upside down, we've got R2-D2. And who's this? Um, ben Kenobi. Ben, ben Kenobi. Wong. Oh, yes, I know that. And these beautiful models here. Now, of course, we've got somebody else here who really is an expert on Star Wars, too. Young Stuart. Stuart, could you come over and be a pal and bring those beautiful R2-D2 cookies with you? Because they are absolutely delicious, and I can't wait to have, have a bash. But you, in fact, also are an expert on Star Wars and make models and everything, don't you? Yep. Do you prefer that to The Empire Strikes Back? No, oh, you prefer the Empire Strikes yep. Back. Obviously, it's a bit doubtful. I'm going to have a go at this one, Stuart, and see what it's like. Here we are. This is R2-D2 cookie, and very delicious it looks. Mmm, mm. what is this guy? You want a bit? Oh, can you take my light? I'll put it, put it down there for you. Oh, that's lovely and chewy. Mmm, gorgeous. Mmm. Mmm, oh, that is good. You caught me in mid R2-D2 cookie. Who exactly are you? Oh, I know who you are. You're Chewbacca, but who are you underneath? It's Robin Hill from Hull. Now, Robin, you're, in fact, an engineer. And you're certainly not a young engineer. You're 26 years old? That's right, yes. Now, one can understand the very young going in for it, but why a 26-year-older? Uh, I suppose I just never grew up, that's all. Yes, you're exactly like me. In other words, we're having a lot of fun and enjoying it and living out the that's fantasies. Right. But you not only live out the fantasies, you also build these fantastic models. Yes. You yes. are, in fact, a special effects designer, aren't you? Well, I'm building these models. This is an Eagle Transporter from Space 1999 uh, for a science fiction film that we're making, a video film. Beautiful. Uh, they're all scratch-built. That is, they're not construction kits. No, you actually built from the sheet and the, from the original material. bits and pieces, yes. Model railway. Beautifully built. And that was featured in, what, 1999? This is from Space 1999, that's right, yes. And what about that one over there? There's the bridge here from Star Trek, the, the TV that's series beautiful. Star Trek. Absolutely beautiful. So you're really also a sci-fi fan as well? Uh, yes, uh, special effect work in films and yes. television. Now, did you actually build that from scratch as well, or is there anything of a kit in there? The, there are, the figures are from tank crew and mm -hmm. uh, beach, dune buggy drivers and things like that. But they're beautifully made, and I love the detail in all those marvellous consoles and tiny little things there. And now, you also do these special effects as well, don't you? Yes, I build a number of uh, special effect props. This is a, a blaster from, uh, from Star Wars. Could you give us a blast? <laughs> I love it. Incidentally, I've got one here. This is a transporter from Star Trek, uh, yes, which I'm um, going to demonstrate. I wouldn't play about with it too much. Oh, with, I think uh, I know. I'll try to good, good scientific training there. Let me think that. But there, there, and I just say, beam me up, Scotty! Oh, oh, what a pity. 
No, I'll never know. I was going to ask him about the film that he'd just made. Of course, uh, filmmaking is a very expensive hobby.